Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Strife's Talking Points, and this is a follow-up uh, from a story I did earlier today about the um, riots there in Memphis that are happening, uh, happened last night and what is actually going on. Uh, we'll start with the basic premise here. At least two dozen police officers and two journalists were injured in violent riots that broke out in Memphis overnight. The city's mayor said Thursday six officers were taken to hospital. Uh, skip down to the cause. U.S. Marshal shot the man whose identity wasn't immediately released while trying to arrest him on a warrant around 7 p.m. according to Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Then a crowd of about 300 people descended on the city streets. And, uh, of course, riot ensues. Police tear gassed him. And you can watch my earlier story. It'll be in a playlist with this or it's just on my channel. Just click on my name and flip across. Uh, and before I continue... Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, or feel free to dislike the video because I'm not in charge of you. I'm just trying to have a conversation with people on the internet like a crazy person. Now, this was released from News Channel 3. This came out just a little earlier. Official warrant for man shot by marshals related to shooting in Hernando. Memphis, Tennessee. New details are sh shedding light on charges of a Mississippi out of Mississippi faced by a man who was shot and killed Wednesday night in Frazier by marshals with warrants for his arrest. DeSoto County Attorney General John Champion confirmed the charges against Brandon Weber related to a June 3rd incident in which a Hernando man was shot five times and his car stolen by a man. The suspect had met the victim on Facebook and was test driving the vehicle after saying he wanted to buy it. The victim ran to a nearby house for help and is currently recovering from his injuries. They don't really give any information on the victim of the shooting robbery, but there you go. The suspect, identified by Champion as Weber, got away in the victim's red Infinity. Champion said Wednesday said Weber was driving the stolen Infinity when he was confronted by marshals. He, uh, quote, he... He's, he just basically cold-blooded shot him five times, Champion said, referring to Weber. Obviously, he had no appreciation for the value of human life. Now, if that is true, that he was that, that car was what he was using to ram police, that leads more credence to the uh, violent robbery and them being worried about being shot themselves. He said Weber had set up a bogus Facebook account and used a bogus phone number to set up and steal the car car sale deal on Facebook. Champion said that U.S. Marshals were called to pick up Weber in Memphis because Hernando authorities don't have jurisdiction here. Cross state lines. Um, for those of you not familiar with the overall layout, um, this part of Memphis here is where he's talking about. Frazier, it's right here. It's this northern part here. Actually, no. A little higher up here because I know it's not Woodstock it's right there Frazier and you can see very easily that Hernando is there because when I like I said I'm I lived in Memphis for a little while lived out here on this edge of Shelby Farm Park uh, right there towards Germantown and out towards Collierville and worked in the Midtown area this is a pretty quick drive you can get from North Memphis South into any of these towns very easily I mean, that's, it's not far. I mean, you're talking 45-minute drive, maybe less. Uh, another suspect who allegedly drove with Web, drove Weber down to Hernando to, to, to that car sale in another vehicle is still wanted. Shelby County records show Weber had previously faced several misdemeanor charges on related to drug possession and weapons charges, traffic violations. And one... Charge of tampering with evidence. Those charges had all been dropped or dismissed according to court records. So don't bring up things where everything was dropped. So shouldn't put that in there as a news story. Uh, what it should read is Shelby County records show that Weber had previously faced several misdemeanor charges. Those charges have all been dropped or dismissed according to court records. I'm just going to cut out the middle part there where it's useless. Weber 20 was shot by U.S. Marshals. Uh, US, Weber 20, who was shot after the U.S. Marshals said, said through a statement that Weber posed a threat 
That's why they said they fired the weapons, but they also will conduct an internal review of the incident. I still want to see any and all <coughs> camera, car footage, body cam footage um, to show that that's what happened. I believe in any police shooting, any use of uh, officer's firearms in any, any, any way. That footage needs to be released very quickly and we need to be able to see what happened rather than just kind of seeing random reports. And this is the um, test drive Test drive ends with car stolen. Owner shot in Hernando. Posted 12.38 p.m. June 5th. And it was updated later that same day. Uh, police say a man was shot and his car was stolen by a would-be buyer he met on Facebook as they were on a test drive of Hernando. Happened about 10, 8, 10 p.m. Monday night on Hill Street near Martin Luther King. According to Hernando, Hernando Police Department, the victim advertised his red infinity for sale on Facebook and another man said he was interested the, um, on the way back police said the two were switching seats when the suspect shot the car owner five times and then took his car the victim ran to a nearby house for help police said he has a long road to recover but his recovery but is resting in stable condition condition the suspect got away Hernando's Hernando's police department are asking for public assistance to find him. So, that is the story of what happened. U.S. Marshals were dropping a warrant on a man, as they claim he then rammed their car multiple times with apparently a car he stole in a, well, I believe what would be considered a robbery attempted homicide and then got out of the vehicle either carrying the gun or brandishing some type of weapon and then they fired back and now of course because we cannot wait for evidence there's always the idea that we must push forward it does appear that his warrants were valid he did shoot and rob a man a few days before and then quite possibly attack police however as always, that's just my thoughts on it. I would like to know what other people think. And like always, like I said in the beginning, please like, share, comment on the video, or feel free to dislike it because I'm not in charge of you. I just want to have the conversation. And I still want to see the actual release video of this. Hopefully that comes soon. Thank you all and hope you have a wonderful day.